had trouble finding parking. It's okay. Sorry, I'm late. No problem. Miss Walters will find that Mr. Jacobson's record as it pertains to customer satisfaction to be spotless. Yes. I would say that's a gross invasion of people's privacy based on a very shaky what it's tailoring services. But we're not just talking about a product here. The very nature of Mr. Jacobson's line of work, making suits exclusively for superheroes, necessitates anonymity. May I remind you that the Sokovia Accords have been repealed. Here, we're not talking about celebrities. We're talking about superheroes who have enemies who will try to harm them, and the people close to them, the ones who didn't ask to be a part of this life. Now, Ms. Walters chose to have her identity be public, but it is not to her to choose for everyone else. This isn't about privacy for privacy's sake. If this information is not protected, not only would it ruin my client's career, it could put a lot of people in a lot of danger and all over one man's misuse of a suit. Denied. Well, wait, this. <laughs> Mr. Patilio, what kind of fuel did you use in your boosters? Jet fuel. Wait a minute, but you used jet fuel in your boosters? Because that's not what my instructions said. He's lying. Don't ask me how I know, I just know. Yes, we could. Mind if I join you? I wanted to extend the peace offering. So, what's your story, Matt Murdock? Uh, Luke Jacobson made a couple of new suits for me, so I owed him one. <laughs> It's a low blow, insulting a blind man's clothes. <laughs> you have your own practice, right? Well, I miss Walters. Have you been checking up on me? A hunch. The expression, one for them, one for us? Yeah. Well, I run my uh, practice in Hell's Kitchen. And we mostly do pro bono work, the uh, us part. But I do on occasion take a job with a bigger client when the bills start piling up. The them part. Wow. I think you're in a unique position to do some real good. And she hope can help people when the law fails them. Excuse me for a moment. Yeah. I have to go. Something has just uh, come up with work. It was nice meeting you. Yeah, you too. Oh, 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 my car! You need to back off. You're making a mistake. You made a mistake when you messed with my client. Now I'm gonna whoop your ass. <laughs> Huh. My uh, ass remains unwhooped. You're very persistent, aren't you? You're very annoying. Gotcha. Whoa, 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 Jet. Matt? Wait. I'm blind, I'm blind. Relax. I have a spatial method that I use to uh, see. Kind of. It's, um, uh, I basically have really good hearing. Or at least, <laughs> I did. Wait, can you tell me that before we fought? Uh, why didn't you ask me before immediately trying to whoop my ass? I I'm... Yeah, a, that's a fair point. Like the gold devil? I'm daredevil. How about I tell Luke you said that? No, no, please don't. Okay. Actually, I can. I bet these goons work for his dad. Ah, see, that's where you're wrong. Goons and henchmen are two completely different animals. The henchmen believe in the cause, whereas goons are just there for the paycheck. Henchmen, goons, whatever. There are 25 goons in the building. Seven below us, eight in the front, and ten in the hallway. How do you know that? I can hear their heartbeats. I can hear yours, too. Your heart's beating pretty fast. What? No, it's not. I'm healthy. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm gonna sneak into the side and take out the goons in the back. Take me 15 seconds to take out each one, so uh, you just wait here until I've gotten all 10. I That's not how that math works out. I'm a hulk. Stealth's the way to go, okay? Trust me, I've done this a million times. Just remind me again how many times you've broken into a warehouse full of goons. Oh, remind me. Oh, I have echolocation, remember? Just let me do my thing. You don't have a thing. You don't ever do this. Just follow my lead.
well advised. Stop serious charges. Legally speaking, we strategy. I angle this more as a form of traumatic expression due to undiagnosed PTSD. So the devil ninja guy, he, he's a lawyer? No, I'm just a big fan of legal dramas. This guy's really kind of doing it for me. I woke up at 7 p.m. More of a secret identity thing you wouldn't understand. Thanks for your help. Uh, no, I was the lead superhero. Tomorrow. Oh. Hey, maybe next time I'm in town, I can take you out to dinner. Yeah, or maybe we could skip all of that and just... Mm-hmm.